I don't believe the cows are here to produce milk for us. I think they're here to produce milk for their calves, but I think there's a way of having a symbiotic relationship with our cows where we share the milk with the calf. I'm Fiona Proven um, and I own the Calf at Foot Dairy. Um, I'm a tenant farmer on the Summerlayton estate. I have a small herd, a micro dairy. We have about 16 cows. Altogether there's about 35 head, counting all calves and the uh, young stock going who will be going for beef. We know each cow as individuals and they know us pretty well. They know our quirks and we know their quirks. But the whole ethos is allowing the cow to keep her calf from birth up until when she's ready for the calf to be weaned and when the calf itself is ready to be weaned. That includes female calves, the heifers and the male calves, the steers. They stay with their mother for a minimum of nine months. So the cows are 100% their pasture for life, which means no cereal or grain or soya or any other unnatural feeds, but they have a small ration of lucerne pellets and grass nuts in their diet and obviously hay throughout the year. Kitty! We do feel we are definitely part of the herd and you know the cows come to their names they all know their names they even we think they even know each other's names so if you call dotty kitty will look at dotty as if to say well that's not me is it that's you are you going to go the cows are milked one by one in a small milking parlor we call this our system here it's our fag packet version i knew i had to dairy um, and i knew it had to be ethical and i just had to work with what i basically had with a little bit of pasture as a tenant farmer and with a barn I have I've just slotted in some rubber mats some small wooden hurdles a mobile milking machine a trough and it's very basic and we just manage with what we've got but it really could be streamlined down or it could be upgraded into a really good efficient system. I wouldn't say I'm efficient, I wouldn't say I'm running it efficiently, but then we're not all about spreadsheets and box ticking and yields and percentages. If someone says to me how much cream, how much percentage of cream is, it, do you have to milk? Well I say about that much this week, last week it was that much depending on our grass because it is a natural process, it's a natural food and um, once you start box ticking and having to fill in charts then you're going to start standardising your product and then that's when it becomes an unnatural product. They milk just once a day. They'll stand for as long as we need them to, but yes, there is food in the parlour for them to eat, but then that way we know that they're getting their full ration of grass nuts and lucerne pellets. Each cow, it has, they all have very different yields. We don't kill in or cull out any cows that have a very low yield. We can have a cow that will give us 25 litres to start with when her calf's newborn. And we have a cow that comes in and she's pure cream from start to finish. Um, and she'll only give us about four litres. But because it's cream, it's just amazing. And I don't know why she's like that. If once a cow has just had her calf, as you know, she can be very, um, very sensitive. Her hormones are going berserk. And um, she's very touchy about where is her calf. We normally bring the calf into the parlour with her and, and a student or somebody will hold the calf up by her head so that she can see and feel and touch the calf all the time and then we'll put the clusters on and we'll milk her just a little bit out just to ease her off and to take some of the colostrum so we can freeze it down for any future orphans. Now we might have to do that for just a day or two or we might have to do it for a couple of weeks. Obviously very labour intensive but it is what we are about. Um, at first the calf doesn't impact the milk at all and then gradually after two or three, three weeks old you'll notice that there is some impact to the milk the cow's giving and to what we can take. There's no however much that milk is producing because obviously every lactation is different, every calf's different and it really does after a few weeks start to impact the production from what we can bottle. 
and also the cows give us beef calves too. So the calves obviously have the incredible start to life and they raise up to the most incredible beef animals. Again, it's a nutrient dense food being pasture for life. And yes, we get far less milk from calf at footing, but then again, our customers are willing to pay a good price, a proper price, what we call a proper price for proper milk, to ease their conscience so they can sleep at night and for drinking milk from a cow that's not depressed or grieving for her baby that's been taken away. So we charge three pounds a litre for our milk. We also have an online service. Our milk is couriered all over the UK. It goes all the way from us over to Wales. It goes up to Inverness. The milk is very popular, very highly sought after. Obviously, we're very little and, and little known, but as soon as people realise what we're doing, then they are willing, even if they have to make sacrifices in other ways, to buy our milk, knowing it's a full whole food. People just make sure they can afford it. But So obviously, I don't get any subsidy, so I charge a proper price. And if you saw the way we worked, you'd realise it's actually pretty cheap for what we do. But yeah, never a lot of money in it. For someone who could run it more efficiently than me, I think you could make a living. I really would like someone to sort of take the baton and run with it and set up other little calf at foot dairies all over the country. That's the dream. I think it can be set out on a large scale. The only thing with that, you do really need to have more of a personal relationship with your cows so you understand if she's struggling with her calf or if the calf's not getting enough but then again you're not paying someone or buying in milk powder or having to worry about cleaning calves pens out or a separate shed for your calves or keeping the hygiene so high for the calves the mum looks after them it's not my dream isn't to make money out of cows it's to prove that milking cows, selling milk from cows can be done with uh, compassion and uh, without cruelty and basically my need is is to make the world a better place for dairy cows that's that's what I'm about <laughs>